let's get to the good stuff. Uh, one of the first ceremonies that you can do in the temple is called Baptism for the Dead. Um, this is uh, the baptismal font. Um, it's uh, just a big bowl of water, really, that's supported on the back of 12 oxen. The 12 oxen represent the 12 tribes of Israel. So what will happen is, is uh, somebody will uh, go inside the font and they will be baptized in the name of someone who has already died. Um, if we were talking about the plan of salvation earlier where if you haven't been baptized as a Mormon in this life, you end up in spirit prison. If you have been baptized, you end up in spirit paradise. So what happens is a member of the church will baptize himself in the name of someone who is deceased. And so in spirit prison, that person can then move into spirit paradise. This is why the LDS Church is so big into genealogy. Um, this is their uh, vault, which they have in Salt Lake, uh, not Salt Lake, um, near Salt Lake City. It's this massive vault where they keep records that they've been collecting for over 100 years, um, combing through genealogy records uh, all across the world, finding the names of people who have died, so that Mormons can then go into temples and baptize themselves in the names of those people. Um, some famous people that have been baptized include uh, President Obama's mother, um, the church has uh, gotten in trouble because they, uh, members have been baptizing themselves in the names of Holocaust victims, um, which has caused a lot of uh, trouble for the uh, Jewish community. Um, they see it as very disrespectful. Um, the church promised to end the practice in 1995. Um, in 2008, the, the Jewish community asked them again to stop. And in uh, 2010, the church again promised that they would stop. <laughs> It's really problematic, especially when you consider that another person the Mormons have baptized is Adolf Hitler. Ooh. Yeah, because, because according to Mormon doctrine, Holocaust victims and Adolf Hitler go to the same place for at least a little while. So, yeah, that'd be a little weird. 